Imagine a world where genetic superiority is the key to becoming a bodybuilding legend. Well, we are living in it. Think you know the great genetics? Like Ronnie Coleman, Phil Heath, Flex Leeler, and Kevin Lamarone? They might come to mind. But there's a new name on the horizon. Meet Quint Beastwood, the latest addition to the pantheon of bodybuilding gods. With genetics so impressive, he'll make you question what it really means to be a bodybuilder. Get ready to witness the rise of the ultimate genetic freak. From the quiet town of Ontario, Canada, Quinton was born with a rare genetic advantage for building muscle. By the age of 12 to 13, he was already showing off his round muscle bellies and impressive definition in his arms, shoulders, and chest. A level of development that is almost unheard of for kids his age. A sight that will leave most adults green with envy. Fast forward to the tender age of 17. Quinton decided to start lifting weights, but without even training, he had already developed an impressive bicep and physique. It was like his body was just waiting for the right stimulus to unleash its full potential. And when he finally hit the gym, his progress was nothing short of mind-blowing. Within five months, he had doubled in size, an accomplishment that takes most people several years of dedication to training to achieve. And that was just the beginning. At age 18, he nearly doubled in size again, all of this being done completely natural. This level of development is simply unheard of for someone of his age, and only the 1% of the 1% will be able to keep up with this pace. From the ages of 18 to 20, Quinton held on to his impressive size and conditioning without any real ambition to compete or become a professional bodybuilder. But all that changed when he decided to step on stage for the first time at the young age of 20. In the junior division, he left his competitors in the dust and took home a well-deserved first place trophy. And that was just the beginning. At age 21, he competed in the Ontario Natural Championships in the heavyweight category and emerged victorious once again, taking home the overall win. But his greatest accomplishment was yet to come. At the age of 22, in 2017, he shocked the world by winning his IFBB Pro Card at the World's Qualifier, taking the overall win for the entire show. And he did this all as a natural athlete while likely competing against enhanced competition. This man's genetic gift is truly something special, and his journey is far from over. Winning a pro card as a natural athlete is a feat that very few can boast of, and to do it all at the young age of 22 is almost unheard of. In fact, the only other person that comes to my mind is none other than the legendary Ronnie Coleman, a man who has also won his pro card as a natural athlete and even initially competed in the Olympia as a natural. To even be mentioned in the same breath as the great Ronnie Coleman is a testament to the level of Quinton's natural genetic gifts. Quinton has even cited that the legendary Ronnie Coleman is one of his biggest inspirations, and it's not hard to see why. With his incredible natural genetic gift, Quinton has the potential to leave a legacy just as impressive as the 8-time Mr. Olympia champion. Not only is Quinton a genetic freak, but he also has the mindset and patience of a true champion. Unlike other professional bodybuilders who are in a rush to make it to the top, Quinton is taking his time, doing only one show a year, win or lose, and not rushing to sneak into the Olympia. He's truly dedicated to the craft, working hard to improve his physique and ensure that he's ready for the big stage. In 2022, he tested the waters a little more and competed at the Texas Pro where he placed 5th, followed by the Tampa Pro where he placed 3rd. With his current stage weight of 267 pounds, he knows he still has work to do to fill out his frame, but with his small waist, wide shoulders, big detailed legs, and round muscle bellies are a sight to behold, reminiscence of the structure that Ronnie Coleman had when he first started his Olympia reign. Standing tall at an impressive 6 foot 2 inches, Quinton is a towering presence on the bodybuilding stage. But here's the thing, when you're that tall, you need to compete at nearly 300 pounds just to fill out your frame properly. And Quinton is well aware of this. In a recent interview on the Underdog Podcast, he revealed that he has no plans to compete this year. Instead, he's taken an entire year off to focus on one thing and one thing only, adding size. He knows that in order to become a true force to be reckoned with, he needs to pack on the pounds and fill out his already impressive frame even farther. With his sights set on the 2024 season, there's no telling how big and dominant that he could become. Quinton's ability to maintain a good body composition while weighing at a monstrous 350 pounds is mind-blowing. Most bodybuilders struggle to even reach 300 pounds without accumulating excess fat, but not Quinton. He is a true genetic anomaly, and his ability to handle such an enormous body weight is unparalleled in the bodybuilding world. In fact, he even claims to feel good at that weight, which is a rarity among the few who can sustain it. Quinton's physique is a testament to the fact that he truly has the best genetics in bodybuilding, and it's not just a matter of muscle mass, but also how he carries it with ease. With such an incredible capacity for growth, one can only imagine the kind of beast Quinton will become in the next few years. Quinton's physique is a true masterpiece, the kind that only comes around once in a generation. His combination of size, aesthetics, and symmetry is simply unparalleled. When he steps on stage, all eyes will be drawn to him. He looks like he was sculpted by the gods themselves. And in today's bodybuilding world, 
where the aesthetics narrative is taking over, Quentin is a breath of fresh air. He has the size to compete with the biggest and the best, but he also has the aesthetics to please the most discerning judges. When you compare him to guys like Samson Dauda and Andrew Jacked, he looks like he was born to compete against them. He has a very similar, if not better, structure than Samson, and he is more aesthetic than most guys his size, and from the front, he is every bit as impressive as Andrew Jacked. With his superior genetics and unwavering determination, he has the potential to become a legend in the sport, and at only 28 years old, he has plenty of time to do so. His physique is a rare combination of mass and aesthetics that sets him apart from the rest. He is a true marvel to behold on stage, with the symmetry and balance that is unmatched. And as he continues to add size at an unprecedented rate, it's clear that he's destined for greatness. With his eyes set on the Olympia stage, Quinton is putting the work to ensure that he brings his absolute best. He knows that in order to compete at the highest level, he needs to be bigger and better. And with his ability to add muscle quickly, there's no doubt that he will make a huge impact in his debut. He is currently up almost 100 pounds from his last show, and knowing this, I expect him to compete next year at a weight around 290 to 300 pounds, and add at 25 to 30 pounds of muscle. So watch out, bodybuilding world. Quinton is coming, and he's bringing an aesthetic freak show with him. And as he continues to add mass and refine his already impressive aesthetic physique, he could very well become the next Ronnie Coleman, Phil Heath, Lee Haney, or Dorian Yates. It's not a matter of if he will win an Olympia title, but how many will he win and how long will his reign last? The future of bodybuilding belongs to Quinn, and we are all witnesses to his ascent to greatness.